Here at our bare room of thought to uh, talk about one of the last finds of this season before the site closed down over winter, which is a rather gorgeous hairpin. Uh, this is um, it's made out of antler uh, and almost certainly was made here um, at, the, at the fort at some stage. Uh, this is just hand carved. In, from earlier excavations, we actually got some fragments of uh, antler that have been, have been used. You can see the tie-in coming off there, but the saw marks where they've chopped a bit off here um, to cut it down into smaller fragments. You get the smaller bits like this, and again, they'd cut that down in half and then use that for making the, the pins out of. It's a very, very simple uh, design with just a round, round head. Um, Quite, co quite common to get, have them like this. But this is unusual that it's almost complete. It's just lost. It's, it's the very tip. But in this case, it's likely that it actually has dropped out of uh, the hair without being noticed, uh, rather than thrown out as being broken, which is most of, most of archaeological finds is rubbish that's been thrown out. Um, they were used for holding up women's hair. They had long hair, held it up in a bun, and they'd need uh, between sort of three or five of them to actually hold the hair up successfully. Uh, we know this has some, from some graves where the hairpins are actually still being found in situ, and you can actually see how many they had. This type of head uh, started to be made from the mid-2nd century onwards um, into the 3rd century, and that fits in very well with the context where it was actually found. This was found outside the fort in the civilian settlement, uh, and it was just in a layer of general household rubbish, bits and pieces of, that had been thrown out uh, by the side of a road. This is just one of the of many finds we actually found during this year's excavations. We found... Um, uh, coins, glass beads, uh, even a bone whistle, a very rare bone whistle, um, and then and the, the normal sort of hobnails from soldiers' belts, uh, boots, uh, belts, fittings, um, and so on, which all help us just to give an idea of Roman life uh, in, in, in the site during the third century.